Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. So this video is really going to dive into a lot of the meat and potatoes of the most extraordinary aspects of psi, esoteric, and many of the other phenomena that reach really extraordinary levels. And these are extraordinary physical levels. And thus, these are extraordinary levels of energy required to accomplish these things. So we're going to briefly dive into how and what and the mechanics that I believe very few people get to understand at this level. And this is based on a tremendous amount of personal experiences, work with scientists, extraordinary events witnessed by large groups and researchers and under laboratory scientific conditions. So, so much of the major phenomena is based around conjuring or producing physical mysteries and effects. Now, it's important to say right off the bat that this excludes many of the mental illness cases. And these are really the majority. There's a lot of people for different emotional and mental health reasons um, purport to have been a part of many of these events. And it's a very understandable situation. It's um, the nature of a lot of that psychological background of the individual. But uh, of course, as you guys know, I've never had any mental health issues, never been on any mental health medications or hospitalized or any of that stuff. So I have a very strong mental health uh, history, just to assure everybody. <laughs> Plus, I've been so lucky to have so many witnesses and been involved in so much research and, and science in this stuff. So how is a lot of this stuff produced? There's a big misconception that it's from consciousness. And my strong belief based on so many experiences and repeatable effects is that it's not consciousness, it's the subconsciousness, which is the stranger within. You know, our subconscious is so much like a separate person who thinks completely differently, who speaks in a different language and is very hard to connect with. And I've spent so much time learning about that connection, about that stranger, how that stranger thinks, the languages that the stranger communicates in, and that really helps your effect level, your effect size, your effect repeatability, and everything. So I strongly suggest you get to know that stranger within. And I can help with a lot of different exercises and stuff. And this, the results of all this stuff I'm going to get into, this is ancient knowledge. This is spoke, spoken about very clearly in Vedic traditions in India and around the area there. And these are the cities. And they're specifically mentioned what they are and how they work. In the sutras, they say the same thing. It was spoken about it many times over 2,000 years ago in the Patanjiri. They speak about walking the path of virtue. And as you do, you'll have the ability to see distant places, to affect physical objects, to... Uh, it was described as turn metals. I mean, not metals, um, wood and stone meaning bend them. Diagnose and treat illnesses, specifically mentioned. But it also says, do not get distracted by these. These are distractions from the path of virtue. And a lot of people do get distracted by this stuff. And as you guys know, we've spoken about magic feathers before. I'm not going to talk about, repeat the definition here, but you can go back in past videos and find out what that is. And so much of 
everything associated with phenomena and esoteric abilities is really, when you look at it, a magic feather to gain communication with the subconscious. And there's lots of different tools to do that. So there's this wonderful story in Canada about this research group that made up a ghost, invented a ghost called Philip. And they did lots of seances and it took a while, but then after a while they began to conjure Philip. And these were effects. The table that they were all touching began to knock and make noises and do all sorts of things. They even went into laboratories and confirmed this and have recordings and different data about Philip. Very fascinating study. And that clearly shows this is a mind phenomenon and not an exterior phenomenon. Ghosts, the same thing. It's the same thing as conjuring Philip. This is you most of the time. I'm not 100% certain that there aren't other afterlife effects here on Earth, but I believe 90% are this effect, the conjuring Philip effect. There's a wide variety of bizarre phenomena that can be achieved, and these can be achieved accidentally. You, it can be achieved and you don't even know it's you. These are strange light effects. Things will light up and glow and sparkle and a little flame can burst out of nowhere and then disappear quickly, but not burn anything. Tremendous amount of different phenomena. Possible and controllable ultimately, but often is mysterious to the creator. And this is evident at a lot of phenomena in paranormal locations. UFOs can definitely be conjured or called in, perhaps created with the universe. I have had extensive validation of an ability to do this and show it time and time again, not only at my location, but at other locations, non-locally. There's also specialized desires can materialize. And these can be wishes, desires, things you want. And they don't necessarily always instantly materialize, but they can and will in a short period of time. And these can be things from mundane objects, like A-ports, that can be a you know, coin, all sorts of different things can fall out of nowhere. I've had a lot of experience with this. To other effects, these can be Opportunities, events, experiences, these can be called upon to occur. But it's important to also realize there's a lot of other reasons for some of these effects and you have to always be very logical and very grounded and very scientific to make sure something natural or something more mundane is not responsible for these effects. So how do you get, well, first of all, let's talk about some questions really quickly. Some of this stuff, you want to know the duration of some of these effects. What is the duration possible? What are the energy limits? There have been some extreme documented cases that would require tremendous amounts of energy. Where is that energy coming from? How is it created? How is it utilized? A, a very thoroughly unexplored question. Well, here are some things that you can do to help produce these things. Oh, about bizarre phenomena. I didn't just mention a couple more of them. There's creatures that can appear with the bizarre phenomena. The fire, the voices out of nowhere. Geometric shapes floating in the air. Portal-looking things. A wide variety. Well, you can train and learn how to talk to and control and utilize your subconscious. And once you understand the parameters, this can really help you. Increase your reliability, effect size, and the effects. There are lots of techniques and tools you can use. And it's okay to use a magic feather. <laughs> You can bring into existence extraordinary things. And I know that for certain. 
from nanomaterials to beings to things you wouldn't even believe possible. What do you guys think? Much love.